Welcome to St. William's. I'm offering Mass this morning, Thursday, the 26th of March, and it's for the intention of George Foster. Daily prayer, daily Mass continues. It's the offering of the sacrifice of Christ who died and is risen. You can see here in St. William's the resurrection window above the tabernacle. Put um, a candle to burn in front of the tabernacle. Um, and really it's to remind me of, of you, um, of the light of the light of Christ who shines in you wherever you are. It's um, a candle that's asking uh, God uh, to continue to shed his light upon you, to give you the light of faith and hope and trust, to give that gift to us all as we look forward to Easter, to, as we look forward to being together again, to share our faith, to praise God. I felt a bit sorry for myself yesterday. Um, suddenly, the reality of an Easter, celebrating an Easter alone here in the church, suddenly hit me. And, uh, you know, the whole business of isolation. And, uh, of course, I'm far from the only one. But you know how sometimes you can get wrapped up in your own thoughts. And um, then I had a phone call from, from someone I knew from my prison ministry days. As you know, I was... Uh, prison chaplain 20 years ago now and this man rang me saying how are you uh, he after 22 years um, was released was freed from prison uh, about three months ago and I realized when I put the phone down that he really is wondering was perhaps wondering what I was going on about with all this talk of isolation 22 years in prison 22 years in a cell? Well, um, may I not feel sorry for myself. May all of us, rather than looking to ourselves and our own, our own situation, look out. Jesus, in today's gospel, is calling us, as always, calling us uh, to, to him, to believe in him, to trust in him, to believe that he is indeed the Son of God, he is the crucified, risen one. He's here. He's in our hearts, always. Of course, it's his wish for us to be together, and we will be together. We look forward to that day. Amen.